Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omolade Adeyemi. I remain your fashion teacher and also your pattern drafter. Today's training is going to be how to cut and sew an A-shaped skirt. This is the skirt I'm putting on. Um, this is the front. This is the way the front is. It's a A-shaped skirt and a shape also at the back. So this is the back. So this is the back. And this is the way they look at the bum bum part. So that is the training we are going to do today. This training is sectioned into four chapters. We are going to train you on how to draft the A-shaped skirt. You already know how to take the measurements. We are going to train you how to draft the pattern how to cut the pattern and how to cut it out on fabric then how to sew the skirt and our days of training which we are going to give you new topics is going to fall on monday and tuesday while our flashback is going to be wednesday thursday friday then our live chat is going to fall on weekend which is saturday and sunday so don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like us, share this training, comment. We want your observations. We need you to comment on the comment section. That is very important. Ask your question. Stay tuned to this channel. Welcome back. My name is Omolade Adeyemi. Um, today's teaching is going to be how to cut our A-shape skirt. How to cut our A-shape pattern on fabric. Still, I'm going to use my Ankara so i don't know maybe because i'm a yoruba lady so i love ankara so i'm still going to use ankara so i want to teach how to cut our a-shape pattern on fabric so the next thing we are going to do then before i start pinning down before i pin my pattern down on the fabric you see the way i i position the way i fold my fabric like i've explained in my straight skirt if you if you go through the straight long skirt video pattern the way we cut the fabric you see the way i you see the way i fold the fabric i told you then that if you're long and you know the length of our car is always 45 inches but if you use materials those materials that is that has a longer length so you won't need to fold this way you need to fold the normal with the white, the one I taught you in the previous lesson. So, but because this skirt, the, the way I should fold it is not up to my length. So I have to fold it this way so that it will be okay for the length I need. So let's start pinning. I hope you get that. So let's pin it down. So... Like I said in the straight long skirt, you need to, if you, I'm starting with the front pattern. So I'll, I'll leave some inches, like an inch from this side. You, when you mark it, you see it's an inch. But what I need here is half inch. So you leave like an inch there. So now I need to pin it down. So. I'm pinning down already. So I've pinned it down on my fabric. So the next thing is to add my yellow ones. So for the upper part, I'm going to add half inch on this band part. Then the side, I'm going to add one inch allowance. So watch me. Half inch. So the next thing is to add one inch allowance for the side. If you can follow the lesson very well, carefully, you really enjoy it. And you love the outcome of your skirt, I tell you. So for this um for this um A-shaped skirt, you know, like I said on um, on when we were cutting the straight long skirt, if you check the previous lesson, you you notice I say when you get to this knee line, 
when you get to the nail line for your fitted long skirt which is the long skirt we just did we did previously so you see i had to free it here by 0 0.4 inches by 0 0.4 inch or i told you you can use half inch you can use 0 0.4 you can use quarter it depends on how free you want this part to be then you blend it to your um to this part of your pattern on your cloth sorry on to this part of your cloth you blend blend it like this but because this skirt is a shaped skirt is not really a fitted when you get to the lean it's only be fitted to this knee line and when you get to the knee line it will be free is a free skirt so i don't need to add um freeness from this from this knee line down i don't need to add anything to it i'm only need I, what i only need is to add my allowance so i need to continue with my one inch allowance so i don't need to add any free hands to it so you don't need to follow this shape just follow the shape or you draw this point and try and follow the shape So after that, for the down part, I'm going to add one inch allowance to it. So after that, then we need to cut our fabric. I hope you understand the choking. I hope you understand the allowance so then I need to cut. That is all about the back, I mean the front pattern skirts. I hope you love it. So, after cutting the front, the next thing we're going to do is the back pattern, to cut our pattern on fabric. So this is, I've placed my pattern on the fabric on my entire fabric. So I realize um, that this side will not be enough, that the down part will not be enough for my for the wideness of my pattern. Excuse me. For the wideness of my pattern. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join fabric, to join my Ankara to this Ankara, to the wideness, so that it will be enough for this part. I want it to be... Um, I want the back to be okay, like to be enough. I don't want to attach anything to the back. So now I'm going to add. So I want, I'm going to add to the side. So this part will fall to the hip side. So it has no, there's no really big deal about it. So it's going to go inside. So nobody will notice that part. So I'm going to add this Ankara to it. So it's going to be like this. The Ankara is going to be like this. You know, it's going to be like this. It's going to go this way for one inch for the down part. So it's going to be like this. So I want to pin it down. I'm going to open this part. I'm going to open this part up. So I hope you're getting it. So then to pin. I'm going to pin this. I'm going to pin this with the upper part, with the upper fabric. Oh, 
hold on, hold on, please hold on. In case you don't know, we have an online fashion institute. We are going to teach you full pattern drafting training. We are going to take you from the scratch how to use your machine to the climax. You are going to be the best designers in town. For more information, visit our website on www.larichedesigns.com. So it's going to be like this. So let me pin the other one down also. So this one is going to be this way. So I'm trying to pin it down to cover up the 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 self edge so that by the time I join it together I won't be this the name of the fabric or the prints will not be showing at the front will not be showing outside so that nobody will notice the joining because where I'm painting now is where I'm going to sew down by the time I get to my machine by the time I want to start joining the pieces together. So let's pin this part down. So I've pinned um, my pattern down on the on the, my fab on my fabric. So look at it. Look at the outcome. This part that is folding is the part I'm going to sew down. This part that is folding on the fabric. So it's this part I'm going to sew down. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the allowance. So. Let's add allowance. For the upper parts, I'm going to add half inch. For this side, one inch. And this zip side, one inch. So, let's go there. So. I'm going to join the lines together with my ruler. So this side is going to be half inch. I mean one inch allowance. So if you want to do this side you to shape that curvy part out, you need to draw the lines so that the shape will come out well so the down part the down part is going to be one inch also same way we did for the front So after that, for this side also, I'm going to use one inch.
So you need to follow this shape. So the next thing is um, to cut. So I'm going to start from here. So that's all about the basics, the issue back piece. So this is how it looks. This is how it will look. Thanks for watching every of our videos. We would like you to subscribe. Please, we need you to subscribe to this channel. Share, like. And don't forget to comment on the comment sections. We need your comments. We need your observations. We need you to ask questions on each topic of our videos. 